All right, hello everybody, and welcome to another edition of the D-Pad Discourse. This edition will be for the start started on July 6, 2014. All right, well, news came out that the PS4 is having trouble in Japan, and pretty much it shouldn't be that surprising since the PS4 doesn't have really any attractive games for the Japanese audience for its uh, launch lineup. But overall, it's doing worse than what you expect it to do for a system in Japan and a system that's part of the popular uh, PlayStation brand. I mean, I knew that a lot of people thought that the PS4 in Japan would do really, really well. And it did do pretty solid during the first, uh, as you say, during the uh, launch week of the PS4. But then after that, it just went, you know, completely. It just did a complete uh, 180, you could say, and the system just hasn't been doing well at all in Japan right now. And overall, I think the reason for this is due to a couple reasons. Like I said before, the PS4 doesn't really have any games that would attract a Japanese audience. You know, there, there isn't any uh, JRPGs out for the PS4 really yet. And overall, the Japanese audience they're moving from console to uh, mobile gaming, handheld gaming. And it's this has been the case for, I mean, well, excuse me, this has been a trend for the past decent number of years, I wanna say almost a decade now, for uh, Japanese gamers to prefer gaming on a handheld device rather than consoles. And this is in part due to the fact that people in Japan, they, take public transportation way more than people in other countries like this country, America. And due to that, they have time to actually play a lot of these handheld games, you know, on the train or, you know, going from back and forth from work than American gamers do. And when you put that fact on top of the fact that you can still play games on a handheld handheld device like the 3DS at home, you know, it's it makes sense as to why Japanese uh, gamers are moving to handheld gaming. Now, outside of that, in terms of, like I said before, the PS4 not having that many Japanese games, you know, games to attract a Japanese audience, uh, AAA gaming as a whole has been more American, I guess you say American-centric in this past decade in comparison to how it was before. I mean, before you had a good mix of American and Japanese AAA games, you know, games for both audiences. But now, things have th things have pretty much uh, been American heavy in terms of games. You know, shooters are pretty much the main AAA genre now, and you don't really see that much hype anymore for RPGs, especially the uh, Japanese RPGs. So there's definitely a shift there, and due to that, you know, consoles. Are now well, people are now buying consoles more for American-centric genres than they are for the JRPGs and games like that. So you, you got that, and then also in terms of the genres, just the fact that console gaming has been more multiplayer-focused and single-player-focused for these past couple years. That also, you know, made things change in terms of AAA gaming, in terms of the shooters taking over uh, the RPGs in terms of the AAA space. But things can definitely uh, improve for the PS4 in Japan. I definitely think they will once more Japanese games come out. But in terms of the PS4, you know, doing as well as say previous PlayStation consoles like the PS2 in Japan, that will never happen. I think it's pretty much set in stone and that will never happen. Uh, Japanese gamers have Moved, moved on from, you know, console gaming being that important, I would say. And it's going to be interesting to see, you know, how much things will improve, if they do improve, once more Japanese-oriented games come out. And it's funny because I guess you could say the PS4 is kind of in a lose-lose situation because, you know, Japanese companies won't make games for the PS4 until the PS4 does better in Japan, but at the same time, the PS4 won't do better in Japan unless more Japanese games come out. So it's like, you know, it's a constant cycle and overall I just don't see an improvement that much, but 
We'll see what happens as these years go by. All right, and then on this edition of the D-Pad Discourse, the release date for the Destiny beta has been, was uh, released uh, last week, and it will be coming out on the 17th of July for the PlayStation consoles and on the 23rd for the Xbox uh, platforms. Now, a lot of Xbox fans are kind of, uh, I guess you could say kind of mad due to this on top of all the deals that the Sony, uh, well, excuse me, Sony has been getting for Destiny in terms of DLC, exclusive DLC for like a whole year or something like that. And overall, I don't think, overall, I think that a lot of people are just overreacting to this. I mean, third party deals have been happening for a while now, and due to the PS4 being, uh, well, excuse me, being the top selling uh, current gen console right now, and it'll probably, you know, will stay there for probably the whole gen. But anyway, due to it being the top selling current gen console, it's gonna get a lot of deals with third party games. And in terms of Destiny, you know, I think part of the reason why Destiny has, well, why Bungie teamed up with Sony for Destiny is because the PlayStation consoles have never had a huge Bungie game. So they really want that audience to buy their game. And, you know, I think they feel, I think Bungie feels that it's a safe bet that Xbox gamers will buy uh, Destiny because Xbox, Xbox gamers love multiplayer shooters, especially ones that are made by Bungie. So overall, I think that you know, people shouldn't really be too mad, especially Xbox gamers, especially after how the Xbox 360 gen went with so many uh, games, well, third-party games getting kind of deals with Microsoft for exclusive Xbox content. So I think that, you know, those people, you know, shouldn't be that mad at this uh, deal going on with the PlayStation brand. Uh, I understand that it's Bungie, you know, Bungie had, well, has a history of uh, teaming up with Xbox due to the Halo series, but overall I just don't see why it should be mad. I mean the game is still coming out on the Xbox One, and I'm pretty sure it will still be pretty much uh, as good as it will be on the PS4, you know, it might be some differences in terms of, uh, you know, maybe, uh, well just, you know, differences in terms of the way both games, both versions perform, but overall, if it's a good game on the PS4, then it should be a good game on the Xbox One. So overall, I just don't see why uh, certain Xbox fans should be really mad at this news or any news about the PlayStation uh, brand getting bun exclusive uh, Destiny content from Bungie. All right, and that was another edition of the D-Pack Discourse. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys next week. Until then, Brad Davis saying, goodbye, everybody.